Well, uh, hey there, travelers. I don't uh, normally get to introduce the animals, so I'm really excited because uh, this week's animal is one of my personal favorites. I see that they eat bony fish, squid, crabs, lobster, and stingrays. Mine doesn't really eat. It just kind of stays here on my belt, you see? This week we're talking about my hammer. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think, um, I think I'm gonna take over from here. Although this week's animal resembles a hammer, it's not the kind that stays in your toolbox. This week we're building up to the hammerhead shark. The hammerhead shark is named for that uniquely shaped head. But it's not some new style that male model Trav's always raving about. It's really important for their lifestyle and what they eat. Fashion is the most important lifestyle. A hammerhead shark uses its wide head to trap one of its favorite foods. It's not pizza, it's stingrays. And by having eyes on the outside of their head, they're able to scan the ocean floor a lot quicker because stingrays are really good hiders. They camouflage themselves on the ocean floor. Hammerhead sharks also have a sensory organ that's on the top of their head that can detect electrical signals that might be coming from potential prey. Oh, electrical wiring, now we're talking. Kind of. Hammerhead sharks typically like to hunt alone. They have sharp, serrated teeth. Like uh, my saw blade? Yes, very much like your saw blade. The great hammerhead shark is the largest and can measure up to 20 feet long. That's probably bigger than your car. They can even weigh up to a thousand pounds. And the females are typically larger than their male counterparts. They're found primarily in temperate and tropical oceans. They can be found way offshore or even near the shoreline. They've been seen in mass summer migrations to avoid the heat. They are gray brown to olive green and even have a white belly. Kind of like me. This is an example of counter shading, which we learned about in the African penguin episode. And their extra tall, pointy dorsal fin is easily identifiable. Many species of hammerhead sharks are at high risk of extinction. Hammerhead fins are a delicacy in a lot of countries, and therefore they're killed and sold. We know that fins look a lot better on hammerhead sharks and have to do everything in our power to stop the sale of these fins. We wouldn't want to lose Trav the Builder's favorite animal. Oh, but uh, aren't hammerhead sharks uh, dangerous to humans? Not really. It's extremely rare for a hammerhead shark to attack a human. In fact, only three of the nine species of hammerhead ever have a recorded attack on humans. As long as you don't provoke them, they should have no reason to attack you. You're not really on their menu. This week and the rest of Shark Month are dedicated to Mrs. Caulfield's class. Her shark lovers wrote in to Trav at TravsTravels.org and requested the hammerhead shark. Thanks! And if there's an animal or conservation effort you want to learn more about, make sure to email us. If you're craving more animal knowledge, make sure to check out our other videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you liked our video, share it with your closest friends and family. Keep on- Well hey there Trav, you wouldn't mind if I, uh, if I did this part, would ya? Take it away. Yeah, uh, keep on that there, uh, traveling. I, uh, love you there, uh, Hammer.